So I'm, I own a business. I have 10% profit. Mm -hmm. How do I know what my profit should be? How I should compare that to a different business? Like, what is profit? Yeah. You need to know what do you want to make in your business? What are you doing in business as opposed to an alternative? So the concept of a required return is one that every entrepreneur should answer for themselves. How much return should I get for the investment I'm putting in? A minimum for most entrepreneurs would be 10%, mm -hmm. but that tends to be more institutional investment where you don't have a lot of as much risk as if your name's on the door and your business is there. So most real good entrepreneurs are looking to generate 15, 20, 30 percent returns on the cash that they put in there. One of the ways to do that is for entrepreneurs to begin to flip thinking about how they run their business. Most entrepreneurs that I know who are super committed to their business pay themselves last. I mean they pay everything, they invest in the new piece of equipment, they make sure everybody's taken care of and they don't take any cash for themselves. And the difficulty with that is not that the ethos is wrong, but that in addition to underselling yourself, it actually makes you less disciplined about your investments. So if you decided that, okay, to generate a return on this company, I want a 30% cash return on the equity I'm putting in, and you take out as much cash as you can of revenue and receipts until you get to that point, and then you become much more disciplined about the rest of the business. I don't cut price maybe as much as I used to, or I try and add more features to my product to generate the kind of profit margin that I need to. So it's very important to think about cash as opposed to accounting profit. What your accountant tells you will be something different than what your bank account tells you. Believe your bank account. <laughs> and then how much do I want to make for even all the blood, sweat, and tears that I'm in this? Once you answer that question, that sets up everything else about how you're going to run and invest in your business. So as a business owner, do I take that money out basically as soon as it comes in? When, when do I... Yeah, it depends on the size of the business, how many constituents you have, but if you're a single proprietor business, for example, who expects to do something for 20 or 30 years and then retire and you're not sure that there's even a secondary market for your business because it's so attached to you, if I generate $100 in revenue, start by taking $5 out and putting it into a, an equity account for the business where you let your retirement build up so you actually build up some cash in your book value and you see the cash account and your accounting statements grow. It doesn't change your profit at all. It just sets aside that cash and what it means is that you're a little bit more disciplined with the cash that you reinvest in the business to grow because you know that you have to start setting money aside for your eventual retirement or even sale of the business. What frequency should that be pulled out? Whatever somebody's comfortable with. I, I always think monthly is a great time to do it. Quarterly a lot can happen in a quarter, you skip a quarter, next thing you know it's the end of the year and your accountant's sending you your taxes and it shows you've made a million dollars in your business and you think that can't be possible because i you know, living on food stamps. So it, it, you, you got to do it with some frequency that you're, it affects your thinking and it's something that costs you time to do. So I would say monthly is the right time to do it. Mm -hmm.